20 dogs rescued from disgusting conditions inside an apartment in Brooklyn. And the man who rents that place is also accused of attacking his landlord. Several people are now under arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan has a story. The windshield wiper she was beaten with left a gash on Dr. Kanisha Gilbert's forehead and stitches in her lip. She and her husband were beaten outside their home in East Flatbush yesterday in a dispute over the shocking condition of more than 20 dogs. They have eight animals, eight in this one cage. The tenants kept and bred the dogs in what the police describe as deplorable conditions in a filthy upstairs apartment. Many of the dogs were chained to the floor 24 hours a day. This can't be more than two feet long at best. Tied here, C3, no space, defecated in its own feces. Uh, I mean, this is like really bad animal cruelty. Dr. Gilbert spent months, nine months, trying to get police and the ASPCA to do something about the conditions and to rescue the dogs. No one would help, either the dogs or Dr. Gilbert's family. My kids had to move out of their room uh, because the noise from the dogs would disturb them and wake them up at night when they were fighting, especially when they were hungry. Um, urine from upstairs would come down the walls. Well, finally on Thursday, two of the apartment residents were arrested and charged with animal cruelty. The dogs removed from the home. But when Dr. Gilbert, an obstetrics and gynecology physician, got home from work, one of the residents was waiting for her. He broke the windshield wiper off the car, and that's how I ended up with that mark on my face. And once that first act had been committed, an avalanche followed. Soon others from the upstairs apartment joined in. Dr. Gilbert was beaten. Her husband was beaten. Some of it while she was on the phone with 911. Police came and arrested all four residents of the upstairs apartment and charged them with gang assault. It was traumatic for her whole family. Um, my children were inside the whole time. They were looking out the window. Um, they saw their parents being violently assaulted. The courts will almost surely issue an order of protection for Dr. Gilbert and her family, but she's not sure that's enough. She's thinking of moving outside of New York City.